bouncing down the road. <laughs> in formalized businesses, you know, it's easy standard practice to develop protocols and policies and procedures for operations. If you go to McDonald's in New York, you'll see the same method for making a Big Mac as you'll see in California McDonald's. A Starbucks latte is made with the same steps and methods in Washington as it is in Florida. The process is the strongest predictor that there will be continuity in the sandwich or the latte, no matter where it is or who's making it. It's all the same. Now, grit is the strongest predictor for future success in an individual. Grit overcomes wit and ability every time. Studies have proven that given a group with equal IQ scores and ability, those with grit will beat out their counterparts. Or those with grit will adapt, take direction, seek to understand, and make some changes to endure things that others can't or just won't do. Now, this becomes the edge and the greatest predictor of success. Good stuff, right? Grit is like, like compound interest in a money account. It doesn't like that. Once you get a little, it's easier to get more. Once you endure something and adapt or create a solution to overcome or dig deeper, it never goes away. See, it becomes a, a cornerstone of a professional uh, life. Like professional athletes are a great example of learning to endure, to adapt, to withstand, to use their grit. Even after leaving the athletic world behind, they use the same mindset and tools in the other areas of life. Now, they outwit and outlast competitors in the marketplace because they know how to get in the zone that their competitors don't know how to get. Right? So you can, you can use your past experiences, too, to influence your your current and future situations by calling on the skills you created when you had to fight to overcome so you could rise out of difficult times like we're in right now. Like that time you had to say goodbye to someone that you loved. Or how about that season you didn't sleep when your baby was small and you had to be at work. Or maybe being in boot camp in the military on tour during a military career. Or how about working menial jobs and, and creating a budget with little or no income. Being a single parent with no support, overcoming medical events, <laughs> bringing your credit back after bankruptcy. All right, so if you've endured loss, came out on the other side, you've undoubtedly developed grit. So use the skills you've learned as a platform and open up your mind to adding the skills you already have. My friends, if you work on that, you have a gritty life. It's gonna be good. Get gritty, y'all.